hopefully everything's still going to work. So we still have a bit to edit, which is it's not great that we're creating a component instance here when we don't even need it. Um, so we can make it lazy. Yes, I think the, that's the thing to do. Uh, we can. Uh, there are many ways to do lazy. Um, yeah. Which one do you, would you like to do? You have any opinion <laughs> on, the, on the right level of laziness? I mean, all I do is just set it to no, and then when it's no, <laughs> create it. That, all right. But it cannot Let's be fine anymore. Let's do that. Um, so while it's compiling, it's probably fine though. Uh, how is my test doing? It's Yay! green. I like it when it's green. So let's do this and let's, let's talk about what could be wrong about this because okay. it's a common uh, issue. Uh, so, um, yeah, we have. so if component is null, component equals, equals create component. Uh, it's it's uh, final, so we don't want We don't want final. Mm -hmm. um, and also this can be private now. Actually, we can just get rid of it and just do... Right. This. Yeah, it was protected because I yeah. was... Overriding it. Overriding. Yes. That's how I have a different component for test okay. and application. So we have this, and this is great, uh, except for what if um, I have a service or a content provider or something that's, well, a service that starts a new thread and then I access, access my component from a background thread. Sure, yeah. Uh, so then we have the risk of creating the component twice. That's not great. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are two things that you need to, 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 to do. It's a common uh, Java pattern, which is, First of all, you make the field volatile uh, to make sure that... I saw that coming. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Volatile is entering the scene. Yes. <laughs> and that makes sure that whenever one threads update the reference, the other one sees it. However, that's not enough yeah. because one thread can read this and, and then yeah. the other one reads this, they both move forward and they both create the instance. So that's where we do the double null checking where we start and then we say, well, I'm going to synchronize on something. And for example, we could synchronize on this. Um, because the, the application yeah. can be a lock. Uh -huh. uh, and then we're going to say, oh, now that we're um, actually synchronized and locking, let's actually check if we're still null. And with that, uh, we're pretty safe. Um, oh, I love Kotlin. Yes. <laughs> In so Kotlin, it'll be similar. one word. <laughs> yeah. just, like, just put a um, keyword and it'll be lazy. And if you, if you want to see that pattern, actually, um, Let's see, let's actually put back... Actually, let's close the pane because I couldn't really yep. see all the code on this. Yeah, let's, let's, let's come back to the, the yeah. last part. Okay. So this is what we're looking at. We have our application components. Mm -hmm. uh, it, we have a singleton. Uh, so this is how we associate singletons to this component. We don't have any right now, so it's kind of useless, but I want, I want to change that for a minute it's just for... To talk about oh, this pattern. Because it seems I, like I was just sprinkling singleton everywhere. With <laughs> well, you, really had to, you had a singleton, so you had to. Well, I used really, to have a, yeah, a singleton, yeah. so okay, good. good I was good. really feeling guilty when I read that blog post. I'm like, I use singleton everywhere. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good because I, uh, like, literally, the only reason was because of that one place yeah. where I wanted that clock to be shared between the test mm -hmm. and the app. Um, so okay. So let's um, let's do a funny. I just want to show because this I think this pattern is interesting. Let's talk about uh, what if we put that thing like. What does it mean? How does Dagger manage its singletons? Right. What does it mean? To, I to, assume uh, put, it's like those inst <laughs> like instant, like double exactly. locking thing. Uh, so let's before we regenerate. That's how I do singletons. So. Yes, <laughs> and that's how Dagger does writes the code in the way yeah. that you would write it. Let's yeah. first look at the um, I guess. Uh, Application component would be a good one. Let's just first look at what Dagger actually generates. Yeah. Right? So you have a component object. It's creating from the component builder. Everything's sort of fine. Initialize uh, creates providers. So these are like factories for your objects. So you have a provider for the clock mm -hmm. and a member injector, something that knows how to inject the activity. So what is the provider for the clock? Well, it just uh, calls into the clock module. Uh, actually, it's uh, let's let's put that differently. So we have a clock module which we've seen, which has a provide clock method, okay. right? Um, and so let's let's go back to it here. I'm sorry, there's a lot of code. So this provide clock, which provider. is why I never read this. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's it's pretty interesting. No, so it's good to have a guided when, tool. Um, yeah. When we when we uh, when we created that module with this provide clock method, one class is generated for each of the provide uh, methods, and so that class is clock module provide clock factory. Um, and so it has a static method that lets you create the factory mm -hmm. and then it implements get and that's where the clock is created. So when you try to inject a clock somewhere, 
uh, dagger is going to call, call this get method that it generated, and this turns uh, this in turn calls the provide uh, method that you, that you wrote, right? So here, so okay. get comes from the is an override of a method from the factory, which mm -hmm. itself is a provider. So when we actually call, um, let me come back. When we call provide clock provider dot get, we're actually calling into the generated class, which itself calls back into our module. And so that's why this this generated um, class needs to be created with an instance of the module. Uh, that's a lot of words for a little bit of time. <laughs> um, I, I think you lost me. I, I got as far as the get, like why the module got hooked up like so, that. That so wasn't if you, clear. If you look, but if you look, what, yeah. what, 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 I mean, I'm going to fast forward a little bit, have some context. Like what are we trying to... So I want to show what happens when we make the clock a singleton. And I'm going to do that. Okay. And show that, which is what you were saying, which is that it is a singleton. Okay. Um, and then uh, are you using recent versions of Dagger or... I think two point eleven. Yeah, so it's good. Um, I so just look at the build up, build up the... Beta file before <laughs> before doing this. So um, so yeah. so the factory. Um, wait, is it created yet? Well, we said it's build finished. Let me see. Um, this clock module has single ton. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. And now we're going to look at the application component. Yes, so this is what I wanted to show. So oh, okay. this factory is wrapped into double check the provider. What is that? It just wraps the provider, the factory, into mm -hmm. another one. Uh, this is Inception. It's totally like, Inception. Or, or Russian doll, uh, whichever you know visualization but, you but want. But this is where, we, where oh, I'm getting at. When right, you're calling right. get, it's actually doing this thing where it's like getting the instance Oh, is it an, an initialize, which is just a, an object that they're using to 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 mark? It's like null, basically. Uh, then synchronize, blah blah blah, and you'll see also that the the volatile, uh, instance our is volatile. friend is here. So, um, mm -hmm. and there is more because they have to deal with uh, uh, cycles and all that. So that's pretty cool. And if there's one oh. more trick that I like to show, because I think that was inter I didn't think about it ahead of time, but that's what the beauty of pair programming. Yeah. yeah. Do you know that we can make these methods uh, static? So that's a new thing that happened at some point in Dagger where you can make module methods static. Um, okay. And you're like, why? What's the point? Yeah, uh, exactly. I mean, I think either way in my head, okay, the reason why it doesn't matter in my head is I look at Dagger as reading Java code and then interpreting the interpret uh, the the annotations yeah. and generating code. So like, why would get they not, don't care like, whether this is static or not static? Like, why like would I DSL. care? Because I care. never call provide clock myself, so I don't care whether it's static or not. And, and why are you excited whether it's static or not? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I just want to show it and then yeah, we'll yeah. talk about no, it. No, because seriously, I look at it as mm -hmm. a, a config file. Yeah. It happens to be written in Java with annotations. Yes, it's like a DSL. It's a yeah. sort of a DSL. It happens to yeah. be Java. It could be something yeah. else. And, and I yeah. think it's just by convention, I call yeah. the method provide clock. It that's... could be party on. And as long as we return the yeah. object clock and it has add provide on it, that guy will generate yeah. the rest for me. Yeah. Which is why I don't care whether it's say static or not. Because to so me, that's as part. Let me, let me show thing. you the difference. The code that's generated is now different. Uh, the builder. Yeah. Uh, if you look at it, uh, doesn't have a, it doesn't have a module anymore. It used to have uh, a, um, wait, we're not looking at the right one. Sorry, let me just look at the right dagger. It jumps around file very quickly, so I can't pair program in this bit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong. I wanted to look at the real one, and I got lost. Okay, let's see. So we have application components. Um, and we have a dagger demo application component. Yes. Yes. And now, this is where things get interesting. The factory doesn't need access to the module anymore because the factory is, um, is basically a static instance. And when you call get on the factory, oh. it just call the static method directly. Right. You don't need so to pass in the, the module. module. And so that, that means is that it's actually going to be faster because it doesn't have to keep a module instance around and call into that module instance. Um, OK, now I'm excited. Faster. I like faster. that. Faster. <laughs> static is about faster. How much faster? I can't tell you. I have right. no idea. 
but, uh, but it's faster than not fast. static. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And so that's what right. that's why no. um, you got you got me excited now. Is like, interesting. <laughs> you know, it's it's uh it's it's just things that Dagger read. I don't read this. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, that that makes sense.